Welcome back for another week of uh, Tips and Tricks with Luke. Um, today what we're going to be discussing is the 900. I've gotten some requests to just kind of go over the 900, so I'll give you guys a brief de description of the 900. We'll take a look at the 900, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. So let's take a look at the 900. Um, it's a pretty uh, big size machine. Uh, the internal build tray size is 36 by 24 by 36. Um, it is a touch screen, as I'll show you here shortly. Uh, let's go ahead and do that right now. Yeah, so so it's another touch screen machine. It's it's a great piece of equipment. Um, you can run anything from your ABS, ASA, all the way up to your Altum 9085 uh, materials. As you can see here, it does have two uh, model trays, two support trays. Um, but what we do is actually we use the accent canisters. Um, as you can see here, these are actually 500 um, cubic inches. Um, so it's a great piece of equipment if you need, you know, your, your basic ABS material, you can do that here. Or if you need uh, any specific uh, high performing materials, it's also available on the Fortis 900. Um, and the way we, you know, let me show you this actually here. Um, we're actually 3D printing apart right now. Um, again, 36 by 24 by 36, right? And the way we clean this is by using the post-process base. Uh, that's where I put all my uh, parts in. All right, thanks for uh, joining me for another week of uh, tips and tricks. That was the Fortis 900. Um, you know, if you guys have any other things that you guys want to see, let me know. Uh, we'll take a look at it. Uh, have some uh, cool stuff coming up for you in a, in a couple weeks maybe a month. Uh, I'll have some new stuff coming up for you guys. So hopefully you enjoy that. Um, and then uh, next week we'll be talking about uh, insight. Um, I'll have a guest speaker on uh, to basically kind of go over a couple things that we can do on insight that you normally wouldn't be able to do. All right. Thanks a lot. Have a great week.